Hey, welcome back. Sorry for the background noise. Uh, I don't know if you can hear it or not. The computer is working very loudly. I don't know what's happening. But yeah, on the previous video, we saw how to use the brush tool on Photoshop to create some experimenting and shape gradients. And uh, we did a poster with that. But basically on this one, I'm gonna try to make a different poster by using the same technique and the same tool. So let's get rid of this and I'm gonna delete all these layers. Or maybe I won't, I'm just gonna group all of them and unselect them. All right, so um, as I said, I used those colors as we selected in the beginning, but maybe for this one, I'm gonna use different ones. All right, so I'm gonna go and select uh, maybe a rectangle. Or maybe I'm gonna go with circle again. All right, so I'm gonna draw a circle in here. Oops, make sure you create a new layer sometimes. It doesn't work. Uh, all right, I created a new Maybe I'll make it a bit smaller, a new circle. So I don't know if you have seen it, but I've done this on my previous poster where um, I use the same technique. Like for now, the background is wide. I'm gonna make it maybe a little gray. Now I'm gonna make the circle maybe wide and I'm gonna create a new layer in between of the rectangle and the ellipse. And now I'm going to go and grab the brush tool and maybe change the color. For this one, I won't go and select the color. I'm just going to experiment with a, um, with a, some other colors just immediately here in Photoshop. So I'm going to go with the blue. Sorry, I've been sick lately. I don't know if you can see that, uh, hear that on my voice, but uh, I hope you can hear me well and I'm not annoying. So I, I got the brush. I made it smaller a little bit. And now I selected blue color. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint on the background of the circle. So I get this like light, colorful light coming out of the circle. And then you can even go and select a different color. I might go with a um, green turquoise one like this. You can even go and add the third color, maybe here, maybe even do something like that, kind of like this. But I want to give to that orange a bit more like red at some point. So I change the color and then I'm gonna add it here, a bit more red. And now I'm gonna make it more, I'm gonna create a new layer and add it on the background. Just make sure that all of those layers, all of those colors right now are on the same layer. So we don't want that um, usually. I would recommend that you create a new layer for each color, but for this case, I used one. I created a new one because I want to add some color on the background of that. And maybe now the cool part of this is that you can make a layer and you can add the, um, the color on a different layer and then you can just you know reshape it and resize it with free transform by pressing command t or go to edit and you can go edit and i think it's here right uh yeah free transform so um and yeah the cool part is that you also can <laughs> you can go and do the warp on this stuff so in case you want to reshape them in a way like this, or I don't know, I'm going to delete this. I'm going to leave it as it is right now. You can even make the circle now like some other color, like you can make it black and maybe you can even change the background to somewhere more like dark, maybe more like purplish somewhere here. And as you can see on the background, now when we do this, it's like you can see these rings and we might want to add to that layer. I showed you this on, on the previous video 
to add some noise. You add noise either to the gradient, to the brush stroke, or to the background. So in this case, I want to add it on the background because it wouldn't work that way. So add noise and just make it minimal so you won't see it that much. But still, this doesn't look that good because the orange, I mean the orange, the red part, it's such a bright color and doesn't really pop on the black. And I had I should have considered that since in the beginning when I added maybe play around with the color to get a better color where it looks more like um you know like doesn't look that bad on on the background but um I'm going to go back to this maybe change the color of the circle um I don't know I I kind of liked it white but now you can you can even add different elements on the background. You can even add some text to this and play around. Uh, the meaning of this class is that I want to show you what you can do with a brush uh, uh, tool and how you can use that to make to make the poster and to add different elements. This is really easy, basically, to do this. Sometimes um, I like to do this thing because. Uh, it's easy and it can get really nice if you play with the colors and I did this for different posters and yeah I mean you can tell me I'm lazy or something but I'm not sometimes it's difficult to to just come up with something and um, sometimes it's also difficult to make this I, I could even spend one hour playing with this tool and like finding the right colors and and and, and so on but yeah I mean this is a, a nice technique to know and hopefully you learned something on this one on the next class i'm going to show you how you can use the same tool the same technique but to achieve a different poster so um yeah